You need to watch the 1993 psychological thriller, The Good Son, starring Macaulay Culkin and Elijah Wood. The story revolves around Mark, who is a little boy played by Elijah Wood, and he recently lost his mother, leaving just him and his father. When his father has to leave town for a business trip, Mark is sent to live with his aunt and uncle, and he meets his cousin, Henry. Henry is an odd boy. You can tell that he is maybe lacking some friends and is an odd child, but there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I was the same and I turned out fine. But there's obviously something wrong with Henry. And Mark is really the only one who sees it. I will warn you, there is a depiction of harming an animal, but it is fake. Just remember, it's an actor dog. Not real. The dog is fine. Um, having said that, I did just watch it today to give this movie suggestion and um, I still fast forward through it. So just putting that out there. That is actually the first thing that we see him do that we know for sure, okay, this is an evil child. Mark eventually finds out that the family had a little infant that accidentally drowned in the bathtub. So you can kind of see where this is going. So there's a lot of awful things in this movie, but having said that, I think this is a really good movie. Um, unfortunately, I think we can all think of some child we knew growing up who had at least one of these things going on with him. Hopefully he didn't actually turn out evil. But there are a lot of times that people see this happening in a child. Maybe he's just disturbed and needs some help. And the parents are just like, no, man, he's, he's my child. I love him. He didn't do or say anything wrong. Well, you know, sometimes they do. And that's why we end up with serial killers. You know, the mother's in denial. They don't want to believe that their child is a psycho killer. I would suggest you watch this if you do just in general find kids creepy. But these kids, um, they really took on a mature role uh, Macaulay Culkin has always seemed more mature to me than just the typical child. Like he seemed like a like an older adult in an eight year old's body. He just didn't seem very childlike. And you know, you got Elijah Wood, who is just you know this big eyed little looks like a little doll there. But they fit their roles very well. I mean, Macaulay Culkin really gives you the idea. Yeah, this is a little kid, but you know what? There's something creepy about him. <laughs> he plays that role really well. And of course, he smokes. So you know, that's a warning right there. He just hides his cigarettes in a well in the cemetery. You know, normal, normal kid stuff, right? One thing that bothered me, the first thing that bothered me, and this happened very early in the movie, these kids, uh, Henry and Mark, they're climbing up this tall tree to a tree house at the very top. I mean, it's way off the ground. And these kids are climbing up just boards nailed to the tree. Now you're telling me you, par you parents suck. You, you put your kids at risk. They could fall and, and kill themselves. Obviously, you know, Henry can fall and kill himself. That's not my problem. He, he, that, he can go. But the others can really get hurt. That's bad parenting right there. So I do suggest you watch this movie. I really don't want to give anything away, but this is a, to me, it's a good movie. I'm not saying it's perfect, but if you have not seen The Good Son, I highly recommend that you do. At least in the early 90s, there was a lot of parodies of this um, only because of how it ends. Without giving anything away, uh, let me know what you felt about this movie in the comments if you have seen it. If you have not seen it and you decide to watch it after my suggestion, please let me know how you felt about it. I thought this was really great. And these kids, I keep saying kids because they're like in their 40s now. They're older than me, but I still see them as, you know, Kevin from Home Alone. And, you know, Elijah Wood always looked young, but I, I see Elijah Wood as Frodo now. No matter what movie he does or will ever do, he's Frodo. Little creepy things here and there because Henry is really good at gaslighting people and he's really good at manipulation. Don't put that past kids. Kids are smart. They know how to get what they want. I'm not saying they're all evil like Henry, but they're smarter than you give them credit for. He knows how to play people. He knows how to blackmail Mark. He's like, well, if you tell him that we did something wrong, I'll just tell him you forced me. They're going to believe me. I'm their son. Because his dad is off, you know, on business and it's just him in this house. And you have this child that's threatening to kill you. And these, like I said, these kids took on some very adult roles. They took on some very adult topics here in this movie. Mark loses his mother early on. Then you have Macaulay Culkin, who just plays Psycho really well. I'm sure he's a decent person in real life. I like Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> I'm just saying, man, for a kid, he just pulled this off. I don't know of a lot of adults who could pull this off. There's something about him, man, that's just, like, he would creep me out. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed my suggestion. Um, I try not to give too much away. And uh, if you like my content, please like and subscribe so you can watch all my future uploads. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. So enjoy this movie. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye. If I let you go, you think you could fly? Oh, hell no. I will hit a child.